Hey, friends, Evangelist Rob here of Rob Woods Ministries, prophetically decreeing to you the river is rising. The tide is rising, my friends. It's going to go to total immersion to the point where you're swimming in the river of Ezekiel. Ezekiel's river, my friend, in chapter 47, started at ankle deep went to knee deep, waist deep, and total immersion. A rip, you know, you, you can really control your body in the natural when you're in water and ankle knee deep and even waist deep. But once it starts to get like higher, you're not in any control. You now have to swim. I'm prophesying you're going to swim in this river that Ezekiel was caught up in in Ezekiel chapter 47. So, Father, we're asking for total immersion. The new, the glory of God, let it rise, Lord. We need to rise with the tide. Father, we need your power and your strength and your grace that's coming for days ahead. We believe a great shaking's coming on the earth. Times of turbulence, times of tribulation, perilous times, the beginning of birth pangs and sorrows. Father, we need to rise in Ezekiel's river and be in the glory of God in worship and prayer and study in the word in jesus name now before i continue it'd be an honor if you'd subscribe to the ministry channel via youtube thank you so much in advance under the channel rob would won the search that's me r-o-b-b -B, wood rob with two b's the number one any videos over six minutes or bible studies where i expound that of scripture in a revelatory faith Hit the like button, comment in any way you want. But friends, let me just go into Ezekiel chapter 47 in verse 3. Then when the man went out to the east with the line in his hand, he measured 1,000 cubits and he brought me through the waters. The water came up to my ankles. And now in verse 4, again he measured 1,000. The water came up to my knees. Again, he measured 1,000. The water came up to my waist in verse 5. Here we go. Time to get your surfboard and surf with Jesus and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Again, he measured 1,000. It was a river that I could not cross, for the water was too deep. Water in which one must swim, a river that could not be crossed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord the water that's rising lord it's going to even swallow up our enemies like the red sea when we're so caught up in you and so in love with you that our relationship with you increases the things of the world grow strangely dim in the trials and problems and snares and weapons the enemy would try and trap us with sometimes they're not so big as they're not, you know, they're not in your face like they used to because Jesus is in your face. And when Jesus is in your face, you will have mega grace. I don't even know how that rhymes. I just made that. <laughs> when Jesus is in your face, you'll have great grace or grace. Jesus is grace. Hallelujah. It's the grace of God. God's riches at Christ's expenses that gives us the strength and enables us to serve Jesus and have the victory. And the water's rising, my friends. It's increasing all over the earth. Isaiah 60 said, Arise, shine. The lights come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. I'm prophesying the glory of God is rising upon you. The glory of Jesus. Holly, you've been reading about the Bible. You're about to experience the word of God in your life. Great deliverance. Everything the devil's trying to throw at you, you're, it's going to blow. You're going to have the victory. God's going to take you that you thought you were a victim. He's going to make you a victor that has the victory. Hallelujah. This is how the Lord specializes and takes a mess and makes a message. He gets the glory. Hallelujah. Because he's full of glory. So I'm prophesying that later on in Ezekiel 47. It talked about where everything that was living that moves, wherever the river goes, there will be a great multitude of fish and there will be healing. So that when there's water, there's life. You can ask any farmer or a person that's in agriculture, 
for something to grow, you need water to make it grow. Hallelujah. And that's what the Lord is bringing life. John 10.10, 10, I've come that you may have life to the full or abundant life or Zoe life. The God kind of life. The devil or demons are trying to steal and rip off life from you and trying to take your life out of you and off you. Trying to take weeks and months and years. Don't let them take the authority that Jesus has already given you. Take him to the courts of heaven. Let God, who's a judge, find him guilty. Here's a gavel, hallelujah. It's a hairbrush. I brushed my hair for the show. It's great, doesn't it? I'm going bald back here. I'm getting old, but whatever, it don't matter. But uh, God's a judge that's going to find the devil guilty because he's been accusing you day and night. And the Bible says he accuses the brethren day and night. So don't plead guilty. Don't plead innocent. Plead the blood of Jesus. And then ask God to find Jesus as your lawyer. The Holy Spirit is going to issue the verdict. I hope this helps some of you. If you made it this far, please subscribe to the channel and be an honor. Hit the like button, comment. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I've got dozens and dozens of shows where I expound out of Scripture. The ones that are over six minutes under the search, Rob would one. If you need prayer, you can be specific or not. Put your prayer requests in the comment section. If you want to rise in this river, say, pray for me. I want to swim in Ezekiel 47. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name.